Hello, everyone. My name is Laura Crisfield, and I'm a senior research associate at Lux Research. I'm really excited to be sharing with you Lux's perspective on innovation within aquaculture. In today's presentation, I'm going to be talking to you about what are the key challenges we need to overcome in enabling sustainable aquaculture production in the EU, and what technologies will have the most impact in the near term to overcome these challenges. So to start, I'd like to first highlight three storylines currently shaping aquaculture within the EU. First, EU aquaculture production has been stagnant. Right now, seafood imports are greater than exports, with only 10% of EU seafood consumption coming from EU aquaculture. The second storyline is that aquaculture still suffers from poor management practices around the world, and for the EU to drive aquaculture forward, it's going to need to align with the objectives of the Green Deal. And then the last piece, is EU regulations are shaping a future where consumer trust is paramount. Now, why do we need to take into account these storylines? Well, sustainable aquaculture is critical for ensuring future food security in the EU. And if the EU is to create an industry opportunity for aquaculture, there's going to be a lot that needs to happen. Any attempt to sustainably increase production needs to also consider environmental factors and consumer preferences. And so my agenda for today is, First, I'm going to talk about what is in the way of achieving sustainable aquaculture by highlighting four current challenges. Secondly, we will examine what key technological areas are currently being developed to overcome the previous four challenges. And lastly, we will synthesize all of that into providing a reality check. So what are the technologies today that are most likely to impact and drive sustainability within aquaculture? So to kick things off, what are the challenges? Well, building off what was previously said before, the four key challenges that we think that the industry is facing today are these four. So what I'm going to do in this section is for each of these, I'm going to explain the why of the challenge. Why is each one of these so critical towards achieving sustainable aquaculture as they frame today's discussion? So starting off with the first one, optimization of production system and supply chain. Aquaculture farm management suffers from a historical lack of digital connectivity, communication, and transparency, which reduces resource use efficiency, negatively impacts food quality, challenges food safety, and disrupts initiatives to reduce environmental impact. The second is new emerging sustainable production systems in aquaculture species. I've already told you that the growth of aquaculture in the EU is stagnant, and perhaps a major part of this is yes, consumer adoption and interest, but also how we actually go about producing our species, as well as, a spe as, well as the species we choose to produce. For the, aqua for the EU to really capture the momentum here, maybe it needs to move beyond salmon and towards thinking about opportunities in multi-trophic or seaweed production and other sources, because perhaps those are better suited to the opportunity. And the third challenge is sustainable and healthy ecosystems. While aquaculture is a more efficient production system than let's say your conventional protein sources like beef or poultry or pork, it does suffer from poor management and intensification. But having sustainable and healthy ecosystems is absolutely critical to building an industry. Because in the end, when we think about the industry, we want to think about what does it mean to innovate these things and how does that improve the industry? And the fourth challenge is product safety and quality, consumer awareness and trust. A big portion of why maybe people choose not to consume aquaculture products is because they are really uncertain about what they are getting. Roughly 30% of seafood goes unreported and may in many cases be unregulated, especially if it is import imported from particular regions of the world. Aquaculture has the opportunity to be highly traceable but requires some innovation and evolution to get there. So now that we've identified the challenges, uh, what are the solutions to overcoming these challenges? In this next section, I will match a couple of technologies to these four challenges. Um, I'll then identify what has been the state of development within each, and then I'll provide our special Lux take. Just taking a moment to zoom out a bit, let's look at a recent momentum behind aquaculture innovation. In 2020, there were, seven, there were 3,700 new patents and close to 4,700 new papers. In these, which mainly covered new approaches towards 
monitoring production inputs in livestock welfare, as well as solutions for wastewater treatment and supply chain management. And it's been fascinating to see that this sector raised an unprecedented amount of $36 million in funding. And what we're seeing here overall from this funding perspective is that Europe is indeed a leading investor, but right now funding is more targeted towards some of the key players in the aquaculture industry that are not an EU member state. So the question now is, what technologies should EU member states be thinking about um, in order to push the industry forward? But so circling back to our four challenges and starting with optimization of production system and supply chain, uh, we identify that the technology opportunities with the greatest impact are going to be mainly digital solutions. So these solutions take up many different form factors such as computer vision systems, robotics, or a remote sensing system to track various production parameters and inputs to be able to optimize resource use efficiency. And currently among the digital sectors, environmental management is the most commonly developed followed by feed management, which these are often intertwined. Feed can have a negative impact on water quality if not managed properly. And then the last one, livestock behavior and health innovation is an area quickly growing with developers using um, image pattern recognition software to monitor livestock condition in either real time and detect the presence of disease and pathogens early on. And so this landscape is dominated by small to medium enterprises for a majority of innovation effort. However, research institutes and universities also support technology development. But considering the aquaculture industry remains relatively young, there are still many hurdles developers need to overcome in data collection, training algorithms, and demonstrating ROI. And so my luck take for this is that most innovation in aquaculture monitoring platforms focuses on environmental monitoring, but feed monitoring is also a key cost and driver of innovation. So promising companies tend to offer solutions that do both rather than focusing on a single source of information. Now for the second challenge, as you may recall, focus on, focuses on sustainable production systems and aquaculture species. And we find that systems supporting offshore production are reinventing net pens that can be lowered into deeper waters, which, is better, um, which are better oxygenated and less susceptible to parasites that are normally uh, found at shallow depths. In system development for onshore production, we're seeing recirculatory aquaculture systems as an approach to produce intensively with a limited impact in water use. And lastly, genetic stock improvement, which is largely important for disease resistance, followed by then making incremental improvements in feed conversion. And so here, I wanted to highlight the increase in patents of recirculatory aquaculture systems which we're seeing modest increase in the development of these systems. It's not a huge magnitude, but there is enough out there where innovations focus on ease of setup, environmental resilience, circular economy, and emerging culture targets. Which brings me to my Lux take that offshore systems are interesting, whereas recirculatory aquaculture systems seem the most feasible strategy to increase production However, these still face uncertainty, this being mainly around high initial investments and high operating costs. Lastly, when we think of genetic stock improvement, this is going to be really important as particular target species are identified, and we look to protect those and really establish them as an, in, as an industry standard. Now for the third challenge regarding sustainable and healthy ecosystems, here, we need to consider how sustainable intensification of aquaculture requires the introduction of inputs produced from sustainable sources or technologies, as well as preventative treatment strategies, which in effect reduce environmental impacts and improve animal welfare. First off, fish meal is the major dietary protein source in aquaculture feed. However, almost a third of commercial fish stocks are fished at unsustainable levels. So, development within alternative protein sources, such as um, this includes insect, single cell protein, and algae, um, this has been underway. Or 
antibiotic alternatives. These include probiotics, bacteriophages, uh, novel vaccines, and other solutions that will be important uh, preventative measures to fend off pathogens without the use of antibiotics. And so, you know, with these instances of increased protein demand and tightening regulation around antibiotic use, we see that innovation interests have been steadily on the rise for both fish meal and antibiotic alternatives. And so here, for those of you that are unfamiliar with our Lux text signal, this is a summary of trends in patents, papers, funding, and more to give you a holistic representation of innovation activity for a given technology space. And interestingly, based off the text signal for antibiotic alternatives, you can see that in the past two years, interest has begun to take off as we approach 2022, where the new EU regulations will be implemented. And so what has all this innovation interest led to? Well, for fish meal alternatives, insect protein production has surged in the EU, while other alternatives are currently in seed trials and some developers are moving to pilot scale production. As for antibiotic alternatives, there are a range of solutions that are in varying stages of technology readiness. However, these solutions will be vital to prevent antimicrobial resistance. For the last challenge, what we've identified here is a growing consumer demand for increased traceability where the technology opportunities include uh, e-commerce platforms. Um, and this includes developers of data collection and software systems that enable farmers to provide a digital identity of their livestock and further the market their products through digital marketplaces. Second is smart packaging and point of use sensors. So being able to measure and label product quality. And then lastly, supply chain transparency. So here I'm referring to uh, blockchain and ledger-based solutions that support ownership transactions. And then looking here, I've graphed the number of published articles in the past decade that relate to aquaculture traceability. What we clearly see here is that this is a topic um, it's increasingly being examined. However, it remains to be seen if consumers will be receptive to smart packaging and if blockchain and ledger-based systems can demonstrate ROI. And so my Lux take here is that growing consumer demand for increased traceability is driving developers of omni-channel platforms and marketplaces that facilitate transactions within the aquaculture supply chain. In addition, smart packaging, which while remains focused on identification and still sees uh, challenges around cost, it may be able to facilitate inspection and quality monitoring. But you know, I know I've painted you know, maybe a bit too rosy of a picture of the aquaculture innovation and its potential to overcome the challenges. And something we often hear from our clients is what are the near-term and long-term opportunities? So in this last section, what I'm going to do is talk to you about the order of overcoming each of these challenges based on the innovations that I've talked about. I'm then going to tell you which are the innovations that I think are going to make an impact in the near term and perhaps those uh, to keep an eye on in the long term moving forward. We will first overcome, I believe, challenge three pertaining to sustainable and healthy ecosystems because at the forefront of opportunities is the development of low impact feed formulations utilizing alternative ingredients. So that is encompassing the insect, algae, and single cell protein. We'll also see improved fish health will be driven by reducing the use of antimicrobials and adopting preventative innovations to offer scalable delivery. The next challenge we will most likely overcome is the first regarding production optimization. Here, robotics, cameras, remote sensing are all examples here where they can be leveraged to provide critical insights to make informed decisions that expand sustainable aquaculture opportunities while also minimizing potential environmental impacts. We will then overcome the fourth challenge regarding traceability and consumer trust. While the EU traceability requires demand for labeling of fish products, new solutions here will ensure species identity and quality, as well as communicate the farming practices employed. I also believe that an additional value in traceability is encouraging communities to demand local seafood to shorten that supply chain. 
And the last challenge we will overcome is within the production systems and infrastructure. Expect continued development for both near and offshore aquaculture, but also expect aquaculture system developers to develop more integrated systems that diversify aquatic species. And based on this, that leads us to an outlook. And my overall take here is this. Aquaculture sustainability will be driven by alternative protein sources and animal health solutions in the near term. But given additional investment, monitoring technologies, improving efficiency, and reducing impacts also show promise. Thank you.